Yes, ready? get to Blackpool. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. We're on day two, so how are you feeling now? Um, happy that we've had no major casualties on the machines, uh, that we've had basically a good, a good thing. Uh, everybody, loves, everybody loves the arcade. Everybody loves the arcade. Yeah, we had a great thing yesterday. The bar was packed and everyone was backed up through the arcade and it was like, hey, let's play all these games whilst we're waiting to get in line. I don't think it'd be end up getting served at that point. So, what sort of challenges have been for you? Like, let's go back to uh, earlier this week. Tell me about, you know, how it's all come about. Um, well, how it's come about, obviously, it started. This whole thing starts back in January. Uh, we got a, we got approached by the replay team. Uh, can you help us out with Blackpool? Yes, we can. No problems. And it just sort of snowballs from there. There's like a there's a lull where you do nothing really much apart from prep machines. And then it all really goes, the circus really goes into full swing around about three or four days before the event happens and the trucks start pulling in. Uh, we block the road up outside our unit twice in the morning uh, with 60 foot trucks. Uh, bring eight machi 80 machines over and what other people don't see behind the 80 machines is the amount of kit that we have to bring like a touring band like something that's going to Nebworth to actually keep it all alive and bring power cables and all that sort of thing so that in itself that's a nightmare to, just, to work with but it's all fun and I always run around on setup day which uh, for this week was Friday uh, running around looking a bit stressed but as soon as we get to the end of that we get to the power up on Saturday morning I'm usually okay I'm back in meeting Greenville but uh, so James for somebody who doesn't know about our GP and obviously we do know tell me about how it all came about uh, okay, uh, you just said you wanted the condensed version, so we'll, we'll, we'll have a go. Okay, so 2010 replay did replay one here. I came along and was just thrilled to see all the arcade machines back in the, uh, available to the public. And it kind of, that's basically the root of it all. But I started actually by looking around for other events to go to and finding these little pub events and little uh, hall events and stuff going on but nobody was promoting them. So Retro Games Party originally was born to help promote those little events um, and we just built a fan base on, on trying to help those people to start with. Machines, I mean, you know, these these go back to the 80s. You, you can see there's some 90s cabs in there but what's your love for the 80s? You know, why choose that era? I was born in 73 so by the time I was cognitive enough to remember things and Asteroids was in the arcades and so was Space Invaders and my first experience with an arcade machine was kneeling on a chair at our swimming baths and watching this guy play and at the end of the first round I think he came to like free game or something like that, I can't remember exactly and, um, and I was kind of addicted to it, it's just you know, left right shooting and mum and dad bought all those TV game systems that you could have back then um, so that's, that's kind of where all the, the, the gaming addiction comes from and How many cabs have you got? Let's, you know, let's get let's get it down to a oh, figure. Some stats now. Roughly how many have you got? Do you know how many you've got? Okay. Um, well, obviously, from the announcement videos that have been around recently, there's myself and Andy that have merged, basically. We have, on our on hand, over 200 machines. And that's, well, that's not fully working. That's just, if you're counting cabinets, it's over 200. Working games, at the moment, 100 and... 40 or 50. Uh, later in the year, we'll have more. Uh, we're, we're taking. It's not. It's not fair to say that it's all our stuff. We do get loans and things by some very generous members of the uh, community forums. Uh, I'm very, very happy to have those machines, and they're gracious enough as well to let us bring those machines with us, like the Cuba and the Mario Brothers doesn't belong to us, but we maintain it for its owner. Sure. And they're happy for it to come out to events and actually be, they have the same idea as they want the games to be played by the public. Great. They're not supposed to be hidden away in a museum. Um, and tell me about, um, okay, what, what recent acquisitions have you made that you thought, yeah, that's, you know, recent acquisitions. Yeah, that, that's an exciting thing to have. Uh, okay, so recently we acquired, and this is a big one, Recently we acquired an outrun deluxe sit-down cabinet. Not uh, the, it's the super deluxe version with the twin speakers behind your ears and full moving and everything. And that's kind of like a dream game to me. I mean, I, I already had outrun before me and Andy merged, but to have the deluxe version of something... 
Steve. James, with um, your club, you know, now developing, what recent acquisitions have you made? We're very pleased, actually. I'm personally very pleased to say that we've just managed to get on with an outcome to look to sit down cabinet. That's been a dream for me to have one to play on uh, any time I want for quite some time. I've seen one go by, seen them go by on eBay a number of times, and just due to physical constraints, couldn't have one. So now that I'm not using the apartment to house games anymore, um, now we've got the unit. I can put anything I want in there, and you know, we've got that, and we've got a few other big ones coming. But because it's still in deal process, I can't really say too much yeah, yeah. at the moment. Um, something. Harry Deluxe. Uh, what else? So your mind goes blank at these times. <laughs> when people say, what, what would you like to have? Uh, well, everything. Every, everything that came out in the 80s would love to have. A, 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 a proper follow-up by Tempest would be a dream time as well.